Okay, so it's been a little bit of time since the last one of these, but <clears throat> I finally got back from all the uh, Christmas uh, festivities, and we got one of these in the mail. Premium. Premium. Sugoi. Japan Crate. Alrighty. So let's take a look at what we got inside here. I already opened this up. Also, I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. I don't have the... Uh, nicely mounted uh, camera up above I'm gonna have to hold it, uh, the camera with my hand <coughs> but we'll see how that works out hopefully I don't have to use two hands or anything otherwise I'm gonna have to just hold it with my neck alrighty so we got the little catalog volume 18 we could take a quick look at what's inside here so they're doing a photo contest. Here's the list of all the items. Uh, let's see if we can get you to focus. There we go. Here's the list of all the items right here that we're getting. Uh, some information, uh, some more detailed information about some of these snacks. We got ninja snacks, very sneaky snacks. And let's see, you can take a look at uh, what's going on here. Three pieces could be a lot of sour. Oh, I like that. And this looks like a sweet potato. Kwailan. Uh, we got something here. We got a Yule log that they do on Christmas, as well as the KFC tradition that we know about. Kuri Sumasu Suri. All right. Suri. Three, three. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's a little learn Japanese section that they have in each one. Uh, they talk about the different festivals that they have going on. And a little, uh, did you know, Christmas is celebrated mostly by couples and whatnot. Um, and this is what uh, you get in the Sagoi crate if you win. If you're one of those people, you got a Tagoshi taco takoyaki maker play set and a few other things and a Wii U and then here's the uh, how to make the uh, uh, the DIY kit step one two three four which looks very simple add water add powder add water add powder mix enjoy alrighty so I could take a look at the uh, whole cover Sorry about the glare there. Alrighty, so let's get started with this Japan crate. Ah, I'm gonna keep this open so I can take a look at what we're gonna be getting. All right, so this right here is the Animal Lesson Choco. So cute soft biscuits with the melty chocolate center that go great with milk. Share them with the children in your family and have a fun lesson. You can learn that that is a sheep and that is a lion. Oh, I'm learning already. Okay, so this right here, this is the Yakimo Yokan. And I think that's actually what they had right here. This is the uh, sweet potato uh, Kwailan flavored gelatin, des gelatin dessert almost like a real sweet roasted potato and it actually feels quite heavy it's quite dense I don't want to squeeze it too much but you could hear that it, it's pretty pretty heavy you could hear it drop too yeah okay what's next what's next we have oh by the way I should probably mention that this is on the mini uh, Japan crate, as is the uh, Yakimo uh, Yokan uh, treat right here. Both of those are only available are, are available in the mini. This one right here is uh, Kalpiko mini, and looks appears to be a ice cream cone kind of thing, a wheat cracker. And this is something that you get with the premium set. And it's supposed to be a replacement for ice cream cones during the cold winter. Uh, crunchy wafer filled with a light, airy chocolate. And this one is looks like vanilla or white chocolate. 
I'm not sure. Maybe it says on there. But it appears that there's three other, uh, two other flavors. There's regular chocolate and strawberry. So that's probably just vanilla. Okay. Next up, we have grapefruit and orange nodo. Uh, nodo ami. And this is part of the original uh, Japan crate. Uh, it's supposed to be high in vitamin C and help you uh, stay healthy during the cold winter months. 25%. Next up. Oh, this one sounds weird. This one is gum. Of course. Uh, this is the uh, part of the original set. Uh, this is called Sundermon. Sundermon gum. Uh, and I believe... The sundere from a Japanese character term, it refers to someone who starts off cold and hostile, but slowly warms up over time. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, just like sundere characters, this is super tart lemon gum. Sour turns sweet after you chew on it. I like this sour trend. Okay, so next up, we have the ninja. Ninja candy. This is the... Kakushi Umedama. Uh, this is a bonus item, apparently. It says bonus right there. Special. Um, ume is a Japanese sour pickled plum. They start off sweet and slowly reveal a sour ume interior. Find out why this candy is a great trick to give those who made your naughty list. Okay, so that's what this is saying right here. Three pieces could be a lot of sour. It's kind of weird how they phrase that. A lot of sour. And it's continuing on the ninja. Hmm. He seems very perplexed. He's not convinced about this. <laughs> Take a look at the back and I guess there's a little story that goes with this. He's smiling. Huh? Aura. Okay, next up. Ooh, this bag feels strange. It feels like deflated. I'm not sure if that's intentional or what's going on with that. But we got some happy corn. They're painting some stuff because that's what corn do with the little child corn. And they're painting things. Let's see. This one is the Monokoshi Wata Ro. Chrissy Corn Puffs are a popular dagashi treat. Oh, dagashi. That's those, those little stores where they sell the uh, old school candies. Okay. So this is uh, salted puffs have a soft, quiet crunch, so they're perfect snack to enjoy while you're watching a movie. Does not explain the paint. That makes no sense, but sure, whatever. Oh, this is also part of the original uh, Japan Let's see, what are we gonna do next? Let's do this one. He looks very happy. I'm not sure if that's happy. I'm not sure if there's a smile there, if he's just showing his teeth, but he's looking over there. Let's see what we got. So it's a peel there, and you enjoy your, it appears to be a chocolate lollipop. And this is the Anna Pan Man Pero Pero Chocolate. Uh, these are chocolate lollipops. They are too cute to eat. Look at that face. Uh, oh. And they're perfect for dipping into a cup of hot chocolate. That sounds like a good idea. Unfortunately, I don't have hot chocolate. Okay, next up. Next up. Next up. I think I got one of these before. This right here. This right here. Is the long, long cola gum. And I remember getting something very similar to this, and it's a bunch of little pieces of uh, gum, and apparently this one is cola flavored. This is, a, yeah, long cola gum, and this is part of the premium uh, set. And I'm, from what I recall, it's not a uh, straw. I thought it would have been really cool if it was a straw, and you could dip it into your soda and then drink out of it, and then maybe it'll change the flavor or something like that. Nope, it's just gum, little pieces of gum that's straw shape but not hollow okay so 
what we have here this is also part of the premium this is the double sparkling yuzu and lemon soda i don't know what yuzu tastes like but i'm assuming that it's some sort of citrus kind of thing so it's probably like lemon lime kind of flavor this is part of the uh, uh, premium set and there we go double sparkling okay next up is a big bag this one is the umai wa vegetable salad flavor as you can see it's a vegetable salad flavored chips so this should be healthy or just healthy tasting well, it's got a salad on there so this counts as a vegetable <laughs> uh, let's see what else is there coming from the same creators the umai bow sticks these are chips that have flavor of a tasty garden salad with plenty of dressing okay next up Next up, we have the Sakaru Sak Sakurambo no Uta. Ute? Uta? Uta. These are cherry drops and have a unique, smooth cherry taste with a hint of creamy goodness. It's supposed to be similar to like a cherry pie. And this is part of the uh, mini, as was this right here. That was part of the mini. There we go. Pretty straightforward little hard candies. Okay, next. Ooh, this one looks interesting. I'm kind of excited about this. This is pure gummy Puchi Sankaku Lemon. And this is apparently a really popular brand in uh, Japan. And this is supposed to taste like lemonade. This is part of the uh, premium. Ah, so something I was missing, something that fell out of the box. Don't want to forget this one right here. This is the DIY kit, and this comes as part of the original uh, set. And what this is, is it makes a green uh, slime. And we already saw the instructions earlier. It's add stuff, mix, and they got some weird thing going on here. I wonder what this is. I don't know what it is, but we'll get around to that later. So the final item is this right here, and it says that if you are a fan of the, so this is Harvest, Harvest Biscuit Matcha flavor, and it says if you're a fan of the green tea Kit Kats, you'll definitely like this. Super thin, enjoyable, uh, yep, just crisp matcha flavored biscuits. Very cool. You can see they fly, uh, and they're pretty magical. I'm assuming that's what they're trying to say is that they're light, and they fly, or they do something. I don't know. Enjoy. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of the Japan crate. There's nothing else here, but I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.